Hi all, today's topic is the envelope for the problem 5. Find the envelope of the family of the curve. It has been given. So when you check the question itself, it is not in the quadratic form. Quadratic, it is not in the quadratic form. Means what you have to do? Keep the equation as it is. This is our first equation. Differentiate this equation, first equation with respect to alpha because they have given alpha to be the parameter, a and b are constant. So, a and b you should not differentiate. With respect to alpha, you have to differentiate. So, when I differentiate, x is a constant, x by a is a constant. So, minor x by a is a constant. So, when I differentiate cos alpha, it's minus sin alpha. Plus y by b is a constant. Sin alpha, when I differentiate, it's cos alpha equal to 0. This is second equation. So, first and second equation we need to solve. So, how we can solve means the whole square, first squared, each term squared it and add, you may get. So, they cancelled. So, 1 squared plus 2 squared when I add it, it may be cancelled. So, x plus cos alpha divided by a plus y by sin alpha divided by b the whole square plus minus x sin alpha by a plus y cos alpha by b the whole square equal to 1. Okay, so now square it. So, x square cos squared alpha divided by a squared plus y squared sin squared alpha by b squared plus same way x squared sin squared alpha by a squared plus y squared cos squared alpha by b squared plus 2 times it get cancelled both and also I will write anyway 2 x y sin alpha cos alpha divided by a b same way in this minus 2 x y sin alpha cos alpha divided by a b equal to 1. So, this both get cancelled. So, from the first equation in this, so which I can take outside x squared by a squared I can take it outside for cos squared alpha plus sin squared alpha it's nothing but 1 the same way y squared by b squared I can take it outside sin squared alpha plus cos squared alpha equal to 1 so what is the equation I am getting so this is 1 this is also 1. So, it is nothing but x squared by a squared plus y squared by b squared equal to 1 is an is the envelope. So, this is the envelope. So, complete it. And use some other color for the second question. So, what is our second question? You will check. So, the second question is find the envelope of the straight line x by a plus y by b equal to 1, where a and b are connected by the relation. If the question is given like this, we connect the two equations are given. It is connected by the relation means first. We need to substitute the second equation, small equation in the first and make it as a single equation. Check whether it's a quadratic. It's not quadratic means uh, differentiate and you get the as per the previous fifth problem. Okay. If it's quadratic means use the formula and you find out you will get your envelope. So, this is the procedure. So, now when I do it, first the small equation is a plus b equal to c. Okay. C being a constant. So, we can write b is nothing but c minus a. Substitute in the given equation. 
given equation. Why the reason? Reason check here. X by A plus Y by B equal to 1. Still now, okay, from the till fifth problem, every problem we have only one parameter. But here it is mentioned two parameter. Two parameter we cannot solve at all. So if it is one parameter we can solve. So what I am going to do, if I substitute it, it becomes a one parameter. So that only I am doing. If it is a one parameter, you know the procedure. So what is our procedure? Two methods only. One method is it's quadratic in M. Or the second method is differentiate and you find some relation. But uh, your corresponding which is a parameter that should be eliminated. So that only I am going to do in this. So what is the given equation? X by A plus instead of B, C by A equal to 1. Now you check only one parameter is with respect to A. So simplify this equation and check whether it is a quadratic in A. Okay, A is our parameter now. So we have to simplify cross multiply. Take a LCM and you cross multiply it. A into C minus A. So LCM when I take it C minus A into X plus AY equal to 1. So when I simplify it. C minus A into X plus AY equal to a into c minus a. So now check in terms of a, you, we have to write it. I will write it. c x minus a x plus a y split the term. Okay, written. It is a quadratic in a, we have to check it. This is a squared. So a squared, a term and all split it. A term I have three terms so plus a okay y minus x minus c remaining constant only one term c x equal to zero so this is quadratic in a okay so quadratic in a means capital A is one b y minus x minus c c same c so b square minus 4 a c equal to 0 so b square is nothing but y minus x minus c the whole square minus 4 into a c equal to 0 so when i simplify it y minus there is no y minus s. y minus x minus c the whole squared equal to 4c. So y minus x minus c root you can remove and we can write it. So remove and write it means 2 root c. Yes, no? Okay, so y is nothing but it goes to the other side means c plus x. So plus or minus because already plus or minus when you have only I can take root plus or minus 2 root c. Okay, so it's nothing but more simplification you know it means so c x. So this is also constant c here one more c so this is c this is c so both you can make it as a single equation so x x x plus so both 2 root c so when i write it Make it as some other constant. So root root c root c root c cancel means c so root c itself we can write.
nogen i min tid, den lille dasse det tid her, at jeg tager mig at sige, at jeg hovedet skulle have det sådan, at det var forhold til et forhold, at jeg tager mig at sige, at så er det der er lige ved det, så det er det. You get confusion. Y is nothing but x plus c plus or minus 2 root c is the m. So we need print small simplification we do, otherwise leave it here, it's, it's not wrong. Next question, find the envelope of the ellipse. So connection has been given a squared plus b squared equal to c. So a squared plus a squared plus b squared equal to c squared. So b squared is nothing but c squared minus a squared. Substitute in the given equation. And I substitute it x squared divided by a squared plus y squared divided by c squared minus a squared. So now you check with respect to it's a single equation. Take a LCM and simplify it. So LCM a squared into c squared minus a squared when I take with LCM c squared minus a squared into x squared plus a squared y squared equal to 1. So cross multiply it. So when I cross multiply it, so it's nothing but c squared minus a squared into x squared plus a squared y squared equal to a squared c squared minus a power 4. So more simplification you do. It's a quadratic in a. So, but it is in a power 4. So, what I will do, it's a quadratic in, I will change with respect to some other parameter because I will get confusion. So, a power 4, a squared, I will replace it by quadratic in m. Last, I will finally replace it. So, a squared is nothing but m squared a squared is nothing but m, m c squared, so plus m y squared, here any a squared is there, c squared minus m x squared, okay. So now we need to simplify and write m squared. M term, I have two terms. Three terms, I have M. So, M term, I have three terms. This comes to the left hand side. So, minus will come. So, M, I will come Y squared minus X squared minus C squared plus c squared x squared equal to 0. So what is the equation I am getting? a equal to 1, b equal to y squared minus x squared minus c squared. c I am getting c squared x squared. So b squared minus 4ac equal to 0. When I substitute it, I will be getting y squared minus x squared minus c squared the whole squared minus 4 c squared x squared equal to 0. So again you simplify it. Separate separate simplification you do. Or leave it as it is. Okay, our wish only. So y squared minus x squared minus c squared. I will write this as minus 4c squared x squared. I will write it as plus 2cx into y squared minus x squared minus c squared minus 2cx. So check it. It's like a, a b squared minus 4ac, no? So that format. So how I am writing? This is a. So a plus b, a minus b. I can write no. So that format I have written. 
So now when I simplify it, so it's nothing but so both the terms are equal to zero means so it's nothing but y squared equal to x squared plus c squared minus 2cx okay r plus 2 any one only you have two equations means any one equal to 0 and another one also equal to 0 we can write it so from this when i write it 2, 2 c squared so x minus this i can write it as x plus c the whole square correct huh? y squared equal to x plus c the whole square okay so this is the end of application so the eighth problem is find the envelope of y equal to so it is nothing but mx plus m cube okay cubic equation so it is not a quadratic equation so cubic equation means given question as it is we need to take differentiate this equation with respect to m which is our parameter m is our parameter with respect to m so when i differentiate 0 m when i differentiate x plus 3 m squared so so m squared is nothing but minus x by 3 so you substitute y equal to m x plus m cube so yeah i will take commonly m outside x plus m squared okay. so m keep it as it is x plus m squared only i'm going to substitute in this so minus x by 3 okay. so take a lcm so, correct. So, m as it is outside. So, when I take a LCM, it's nothing but 3x minus x. So, um, 3, 2x, 2x by 3. Okay. Now, I have y equal to m 2x by 3 I have. Again, still m is not removed. How can I remove it means? First, I will square it. Okay. So, when I square it, okay, so y squared equal to m squared 2x by 3 the whole square, everywhere square. So, now m squared I will repeat x by 3 into 4x squared by 9. So, it's nothing but, uh, so minus x, already 1x, so minus 4x, x squared, x squared, x, so x cube divided by 9 into 3, 27 so y squared equal to minus 4 x cube so equation format when i write so it is 27 y squared plus 4 x 3 equal to 0 is then Thank you.